Hi, my name is Nathan Adams, and this is a Blender tutorial from Sembol Studio. This is part two of creating a fantasy world. So the first thing we have is we have our default scene in Blender 2.49. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of that default cube. So what we do is we just press the delete, erase selected objects, there you go. And now we go to our space bar, we add mesh, UV sphere, and let's just keep it where it's at, except let's take that radius up to 10. All right, and then there we go. There is our world that we are going to make, at least it will be a world once we get our texture applied. So first thing we're going to do is set smooth. There we go. Now it won't have all those flat edges all over the place. All right, we'll go to Z just to see where my, uh, just so that it doesn't, it's not on its solid mode or anything. Then I can see where that light went. And I'm gonna actually take that outside of the sphere because it's right now inside, which would really mess up our scene. Okay. And I am actually going to turn this into a sun object. So I'm going to go to material button and now we have our light and we're going to change it to a sun and we're going to track it to it so we get so we just do our shift right click control T track to constraint there we go alright and then we also want to do the same for this so shift right click control T track to there we go all right, now let's just move this away from there so that we can get our entire object into our camera view. All right, so give it our camera. That looks good. Pressing zero on the numpad. There we go. It's very tightly in there, so maybe we want to zoom out a little bit more. So press G and then press Z twice for the Z local. Okay, if we do a quick render, okay, we're getting a good light source here, so I think we're going to stick with that, and then we're going to modify our materials from here, and we're also going to modify our world, meaning our sky. So, let's just get out of that. Alright, let's forgive these little popping up things here. So I'm going to take everything down to zero for the sky. There we go. And then I'm going to add a star field into it. So we have our mist and stars and all that. So we'll turn on stars. And I'm going to turn the star distance down a bit. I'm also going to take the size down. So they're really small. Because they get to be pretty big by default. 0.25 we'll try that and then we want our minimum distance to be further away than the world is so we'll take it to say about 30 to start out just to see what it does so do another quick render all right there we go looks pretty good so now we make our materials on our world part okay now, we select our object, get our material, and I'm just going to use the default material. And then I'm going to go to shaders, and I'm going to take the reflection all the way up, specular all the way down, and hardness all the way down, so that we don't have specularities coming off the surface. Alright, and then we're going to go to our texture. And our texture type, we're going to do image. We're going to load our image to wherever we save that uh, to where we save that map that we made using the texture generator. And let's see. I can find it. Of 
those. So give me a minute and I'll get it. I think that was the one. That was the one. Okay, got it. Now we go back into our material. And we want this. We have it on Orco, which is what we want, original coordinates. And instead of flat, we want it to be sphere. Okay, and there we go. And now let's do a quick test render. And look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Alright, looks pretty nice, doesn't it? But there are a couple of things lacking here. Perhaps we want an atmosphere surrounding this planet. I mean, who wouldn't? This is definitely a green looking planet. So it logically follows that we want to have an atmosphere. So, we're going to take this object. We're going to duplicate it, and we'll get S for scale, and we'll just do 1.01, oh one. okay, and then we'll make a new material on it, so go to materials, add new, then we go to our texture, clear it, then we're just going to do a couple of things, we're going to not make it traceable, and then we're going to go to our colors, if I can find those. Ah, here we go. Alright, and we want to make it a blue, I'm going to make it a blue atmosphere. Okay. And then I'm going to take my alpha down a bit. So I'm going to turn it on to Z transparent. And take it down. About let's try there and let's see what it looks like. Okay, not quite what I was wanting, so I'm gonna actually size it up a little bit more. Yeah, not quite that much, I don't think. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, now we're getting a bit more atmosphere. But I don't know if I want to do it that much. So, I think what we'll do is we'll take that alpha down a little bit more again. Okay, I'll try that. Okay, we get that faint haze around, around the planet. And there we go. And now. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cloud layer. This is a little bit more involved, but you can get a really good fake out of it. So let's duplicate that again, scale it to about 0.98. Do that, okay. And then we'll add a new material. All right. I'll add a new texture. We'll keep everything where it is. Go to our texture, and we'll actually make another texture as well. So this one is going to be a clouds, as will this one. Okay. And this one I'm actually going to make really big. Because what this is going to do is this is going to drive where the clouds go on the on the surface on this planet. So let's take the noise size up a bit. Doesn't matter the numerical value, you just want it so it looks big. Okay. I think that'll probably be good. And then we'll go to our next one. I'm actually going to take the noise size down a bit on that one. Okay. Now when I go back to my material, I'm going to make this an alpha channel. Map to alpha. I'm actually going to take this map, this alpha all the way down. And then the other one, 
going to make it color. Okay, there we go. And let's do a quick render, see how it comes out. All right, we're getting the cloudiness, but it's not quite as patchy as I'd like it. So let's go to that first that first channel and let's add a little bit of contrast to it. So we'll add the contrast. And maybe we'll take the brightness down a bit too. Okay. And then we'll also do something similar for the other one that we just did as well. So take the contrast and add a bit to it. And maybe add a little bit of brightness as well. Okay, now let's do a, a render. There we go. Looks a lot better. So, if you play around with those values, then you get a really cool looking world. In fact, I'm just going to do this a little bit more again on that first texture. So, alright. Yeah, we'll just add a little more contrast. A little bit more brightness. Okay, now let's see how it goes. Last one. There we go. Looks very nice. So, this is how you make a fantasy world. And so, I uh, hope you've learned something from this. Uh, my name is Nathan Adams, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, go to shemble.blogspot.com to, uh, to find more material, and also rate this video and tell me how you liked it, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.